Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we'll be looking at systematic risk and unsystematic risk. We're going to be looking at these risks and we're going to be giving some examples and explaining what they are and why they are systematic or unsystematic. So let's begin. What is systematic risk? Well, systematic risk, also known as non-diversifiable risk, is associated with market factors that affect all entities in the market. This type of risk cannot be eliminated or mitigated through diversification. Okay, And that is why it's known as non-diversifiable. You cannot diversify it away. You cannot reduce systematic risk by diversifying. So that is what systematic risk is. And another thing to highlight, it affects the entire market. Okay, Not just a specific firm, not just a specific industry, but the entire market is exposed to this risk, systematic risk. So what is unsystematic risk? Unsystematic risk or diversifiable risk is the portion of an asset's risk associated with random causes that can be eliminated through diversification. Hence, it is known as diversifiable risk. This risk is firm or industry specific. Okay, So if you want to know if a risk is systematic or unsystematic, you look at who is affected, who is exposed to this risk. Is it a specific industry or is it a specific firm or is it the entire market? Okay, so we know if it's a specific firm or a specific industry, then we know that it's unsystematic risk and it can be diversified. Okay, so a company is exposed to risk, both systematic and unsystematic. Okay, so if we ask ourselves, what is the total risk that a company is exposed to? Well, we'll say that the total risk is systematic risk plus unsystematic risk and that is what the company is exposed to so let's get into much detail into these two type of risks let's begin with unsystematic risk okay what are some examples of unsystematic risk well examples include industrial action regulatory constraints or the loss of a significant contract now if you think about these examples that we've just given it can affect only a specific industry okay not the entire market is exposed to it like industrial action it may affect a specific firm but most likely an entire industry okay whichever industry you may be dealing with okay regulatory constraints if regulation comes and makes changes okay that adversely affects a specific firm or a specific industry then you know that it's unsystematic because it's only a specific industry okay not the entire market the loss of a significant contract we know that it's most likely dealing with a specific firm okay if a firm which has a significant contract which it depends on for its sales or for its revenue then you know that it's unsystematic risk was it's only affecting one firm this risk is specific to a firm or industry meaning that it is a risk inherent within a firm or industry and i've mentioned that this type of risk is unsystematic because investments can be diversified, thereby reducing or eliminating the risk. Okay, by diversifying, I know what you mean by diversifying, obviously, is by not investing your entire investment or your portfolio in only one industry or in only one company. Okay, and then you diversify, you spread your portfolio across different uh, industries and different firms. That is what you mean by diversifying. Thereby, you'll be reducing your risk or eliminating it entirely. This can be explained by the adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, if you invest, you put all your investment or your portfolio in one company alone or in one industry, okay, you're exposed to unsystematic risk because unsystematic risk is firm specific or industry specific. So if you put everything into one industry or in one company, then you are exposed you're not reducing or eliminating your risks okay so you have to diversify in different industries so that if one industry faces unsystematic risk then you know that the other industries are fine and you're continuing to gain so it will offset your losses in one specific industry okay and that is why we are saying unsystematic risk can be reduced or eliminated entirely okay a good example you can give the company theranos let's say you've invested in theranos your entire portfolio or investment is in theranos what would it mean to you well we know theranos is a company that marketed blood testing equipment that did not work as promised and it plummeted okay so it's a company where if you invested in it obviously you would have lost your entire investment in this company okay so if you put everything in this specific company obviously you lost everything so you're exposed to both unsystematic risk which is specific to a firm like theranos 
and systematic risk is exposed to the entire market okay you also lose so it means your total risk was very high because you did not diversify you did not invest in other companies but let's say you invested in other companies okay not just theranos you invested in the airline industry for instance you invested in other markets or in other industries and in other firms that means if theranos goes bust hopefully you have gained in the other industries and other companies and it will be able to offset your loss in theranos that is what we mean exactly okay diversifying limits your overall risk your total risk because unsystematic risk would be reduced or eliminated now remember in the previous slide we say total risk is systematic plus unsystematic risk now systematic risk you cannot diversify it away but unsystematic risk we have mentioned it time and again you can reduce it or eliminate it therefore by reducing or eliminating unsystematic risk you reduce or you limit your overall or your total risk okay because you are able to reduce or eliminate unsystematic risk okay now let's move to systematic risk what are some examples of systematic risks well example of non-diversifiable risks which is systematic risk include investment policies inflation wars global economic issues revolution and political events you can see these examples uh, examples which affect the entire market doesn't matter which firm you're in it doesn't matter which industry you're in but you are exposed to it okay you're exposed to this type of risk so you cannot diversify it away okay let's say let's say you diversify you invest in various industries but these systematic risks over here like these examples we have given which will affect all industries if it is to occur this is a risk that affects the entire market okay and we've said that already this type of risk cannot be diversified or eliminated okay you cannot eliminate systematic risk you cannot diversify systematic risk you, like i said you can invest in all the industries you want but systematic risk you will always be faced with it okay a clear example which we know is the COVID 19 we know about this one here it's a global pandemic and we know it has affected the entire market it doesn't matter if you are in the airline industry or you are in the pharmaceutical industry or the retail industry you are all affected and that is what we mean you are the entire market is exposed to this type of risk and that is an example of systematic risk okay so we've just looked at systematic and unsystematic risk on a high level i hope it has made sense i hope you're able to understand these two terms and if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers